Big story at 6 o'clock, shot in the line of duty. WJZ has obtained video now showing the shooting of two Baltimore County police officers. But one of them said today in the high profile trial that has everyone's attention now. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Ritter. Welcome to WJZ's All Local News at 6. We begin tonight with those videos showing violent encounters between a suicidal suspect and Baltimore County police. The dramatic scenes you remember unfolded last year and what then turned to a tense manhunt. WJZ investigator Mike Helgen breaks down the frightening moments. We want to warn you, look away now if you need to, because some of these images are tough to watch. That video is at the center of this case. Prosecutors told jurors these are images they will never forget. Where is the gun? I don't know if he's in the car, but I don't know if he's got one or one downstairs. He's talking about suicide. He wants to kill himself. The incident started with a 911 call from David Linthicum's father, saying his son was armed and having a mental health crisis. Officers enter the home in Cockeysville and try to make contact. David, is Officer Arnett, can I talk to you? Linthicum's father, Jimmy's opened the lock to the basement. All right, I don't know if we go first. He's going to shoot somebody right out shoot David! Officer Barry Jordan follows Linthicum's dad down the stairs, where they soon encounter right, David, David sitting David? on a bed with a rifle. David, you going to shoot me? He's got a gun. David Linthicum opens fire 16 times. WJZ has muted the audio after the first shot because of the traumatic nature of what happened. Get out! Get out! Go, 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 go. The officers flee outside for their lives, where Officer April Arnett notices Officer oh, Jordan has been no. shot. You are hit. They need to... Where's the ambulance? Jordan first makes sure Linthicum's dad is safe. Uh, you see you okay? Changing areas, search right this, uh, I'm sure. wood and, uh, cedar. Is he still alive? Yeah before being rushed to a waiting ambulance while David Linthicum goes on the run. The next day, with the manhunt still underway, Detective Jonathan Chi checks out a suspicious person hitchhiking in the dark on Warren Road. This is when he passes that person on the side of the road in an unmarked police truck. He turns on his lights and gets out. Uh, Chi, you got a little? I'm out with him. I think he's trying to hitchhike. I'm making contact. What's going on? What's up? Can you kill me? No? Why? Linthicum opens fire, 14 shots. We've again muted the audio after the first shot. He told jurors, it felt like I got punched in the face. It was a bad nightmare. I couldn't get up and I couldn't do anything. <laughs> Chi manages to get his gun and fires back at the truck, then tries to get out of the road. He's been struck multiple times. Oh! Oh! Ah! He choked up when he told jurors, the next thing I thought was whoever it was was going to stand over me and shoot me. Ah, oh, it's me, it's me! It's me! It's me! Where is he, Chief? He's in my truck! Where is he? Where is he? He went down the bridge. I'm shot, I'm shot, I'm shot. A fellow officer works to stabilize him while Linthicum flees to Harford County where he's eventually arrested. I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. Defense attorneys have blamed police for an overly aggressive response and asked Chi why he stopped his truck alone during a manhunt for an armed, dangerous, suicidal person. No comment. They declined to talk about it following Chi's testimony. Detective Chi testified he could have done things differently that night. Asked if he regrets getting out of his truck, he says it's a difficult question. He also admitted he has not been interviewed by police for their investigation. In your corner in Towson, Mike Helgren, WJZ. Mike, thank you.